Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So yesterday, as I posted, Microsoft recently rolled out a pair of builds to insiders in the beta channel. And in build 22631, as I mentioned in that video, which I'll leave a link to in the description, Microsoft introduced the new Windows Copilot to insiders in the beta channel. And as many of you will know by now, um, Windows Copilot is going to be bringing centralized AI assistance to the Windows 11 desktop and will be replacing uh, the digital assistant Cortana, as many of you may know by now who do view this channel. Now, although Copilot uh, in the Insider program is still very much in early days and in its infancy, um, there are a couple of tasks it can perform. And although it is still very early days, um, you can ask it questions as an example to change from light mode to dark mode. You can ask it to turn on do not disturb. Uh, you can ask it to take a screenshot, summarize this website, and so on. So basically, this is a web container, very similar to Bing, Ch Bing Chat, that brings AI assistance to your desktop and will eventually replace Cortana, as mentioned. Now, at this stage, um, third-party plugins are not supported yet. But according to the Windows enthusiast Zeno over on Twitter, um, who has spotted some new functionalities, and it seems now that first-party plugins um, may be coming functions that are going to be rolling out now to the Copilot, which have been spotted uh, in this week's Dev Channel build 23516. So uh, that's the build before we get to the beta channel. So this could be rolling out to the beta channel uh, in up-and-coming releases to the insiders uh, in that flight. Now, um, just to go through this quickly, because uh, Zeno has provided us a screenshot um, over on Twitter, and this is that screenshot. And here we can see some interesting information regarding a new plugin support that may be coming. And as Zeno says, um, seems like Copilot may have gained some functionality, such as launching applications, task manager actions, troubleshooting, opening settings, and providing feedback. And if we have a closer look, here we can see at the top, AR plugin accessibility tool. So this um, means you may be able to ask the assistant to access your accessibility tools just to make things a lot easier. If we head down to some others, AR plugin for clock service. So that means you'll be able to ask it as an example to change your time and adjust date and time settings. Uh, moving down, let's look at for another one. Here's the task manager, AR plugin, task manager service. So you'll obviously be able to ask the Copilot to access a task manager where you can end tasks and see your uh, process IDs and so on. A nice um, admin tool maybe. Yeah, AI plugin troubleshooter. So you'll be able to access troubleshooting tools to resolve computer problems. Uh, here's Windows feedback AI plugin. So you can give feedback, ask the Copilot to um, give Windows feedback to Microsoft. And yeah, we get Windows settings AI plugin. And obviously that's to access your actual settings in Windows. So that's just a brief overview and example, as mentioned, provided by Xeno, where it seems that we may be getting extra functionality with those plugins, which will bring those extra options now that you can actually ask the, the Copilot to access uh, in up and coming builds. But obviously, this is still early days. And if that does become official, I will obviously post and let you guys know. And as I mentioned also in a video yesterday, um, Microsoft is in the task and the process of deprecating Cortana. And I'll also leave that video down below. So go check it out because it seems that Microsoft is already killing off Cortana, paving the way already for Windows Copilot. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.